Hi, this is Chris Johnson, and I'm going to show you a video on how I take Rex files that I've made samples from and put them into a Kong player. And um, you're going to see my screen here, but you're not going to see all the other uh, windows that I go to open up files. But um, the where, where I start with is I start with Recycle, take some WAV files, and I break them down into, um, into uh, four to eight bar loops and uh, save them as Rex files. Now there's plenty of videos on, on YouTube about how to do that and recycle. I might make one later. Um, but where I am now is, say, I've got a bunch of, of uh, RX2 files, Rex files, and I want to get them into a Kong, and I want to divide them up into across the paths. Where I start is with a Line 6 mixer, a Kong player, and a Dr. Octo Rex player. And I'm going to start here. And the reason I start off with the Dr. Octo Rex player is I have one loop here. And it's an average white band loop. And you see it's 101 beats per minute and it's two bars long. I'm going to come down here in my song tempo and I want to make this 101 beats per minute. And stop that. And I'm going to come up here to my Kong, bring in a Nurse Rex loop player. I swear that's the stupidest name I've ever heard. And I'm going to go to, which one was that? That was uh, 19. New file open. And I'm going to bring up loop 19. And you'll see that it's uh, average white band sample 10019. But unless I'm missing something, this does not tell me how many beats per minute it is. It doesn't tell me how many bars it is. So that's why I like to reference this down here. Um, 101, two bars. Okay, so this is assigned to drum pad one. And hit that, turn the volume up. It plays through one time when I hit it. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make that first pad a chunk. I'm going to hit chunk over here, and then in my Nurse Rex loop player, I'm going to take this drag handle and I drag that all the way over to the first chunk. Okay, so that I get this. I get that first beat. I can hit that, you know, as many times as I like. Now I'm going to right click on this pad. I'm going to do copy. And I'm going to do pad two. And I'm going to hit paste. So it's going to get the same, um, same sample. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this out through the whole loop and I'm going to set this to loop trigger and pad 2. So now the whole loop plays. Now I'm going to come here, right click on pad 2, let that stop playing. Right click on pad 2, copy. And I know I'm going fast here, but it is YouTube, and you can rewind this. On pad 3, I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to hit Paste. All right, are you with me so far? Now, on pad 3, what I want to use this for is a stop, so that I'm playing pad 2. It's going to loop all the way through, but I want it to stop at certain points. So I'm going to hit my drum assignment, shortcut key here. I'm going to assign this to pad 2. I'm going to hit my hit type assignment here, and then I'm going to assign this to hit type 4, which is stop. Quick demonstration. Stop. See how that works? So, this is very quickly taking a two bar rex loop, bringing in the nurse player, putting it on pad one, taking the same loop or pad one and making it a chunk so it hits the first first uh, chunk of that loop, which is usually a kick. Taking the same loop, copying it to pad two, and leaving that as the whole two bar loop. Taking this pad two, copying it to pad three, and making this a stop so that I can stop pad 2 whenever I want. So I'm going to hit this 
space, kick, and then make this, double click on here and make this loop, and double click on here and make this stop. All right, and I'm gonna make another video on how to take a loop and assign it out over four pads, and that's gonna come up next.